thing you'll need in making caster sugar don't be surprised if the things you'll need for making caster sugar are already right in your kitchen. There's really nothing dramatic about this kind of sugar except for the name. Making it is even less dramatic because all you need to do is grind regular sugar to a fine consistency. Here are the things that you need. Granulated sugar, if you don't have this in your kitchen, regular sugar would do just fine, food processor, coffee grinder, any chef worth his or her salt will already have this equipment at home. 2-3 to three minutes of your precious time, yes, it might be precious but we all have this, don't we? Steps in making caster sugar as simple as the ingredients, so is the procedure in making caster sugar. All you need to do is put the granulated sugar into the food processor and there you have it. After following the procedure listed here, you will have all the caster sugar that you need in the world. Put the granulated sugar into the food processor. Make sure to put more than what you need because some of it will be pulverized in the process. I suggest adding increments of one half cup until you have the amount that you need. Don't create in bulk because you might end up having more than what you need. Remember that this kind of sugar melts fast. To prevent the sugar dust from flying out of the food processor, cover the lid with a clean hand towel. Doing this will keep the dust down and confine it in the food processor. If you miss this part, you will end up having sugar dust all over your work area and it can be messy. Turn the food processor on pulse setting. This setting allows better control in achieving the level of granularity without falling over into powdered sugar territory. If you immediately turn the power to high speed as some would suggest, you could easily turn your caster sugar to powdered sugar. This process will only take a couple of minutes, but if you're making huge quantities, it might take longer. Wait for the dust to settle before opening the processor lid. Again, remember that you're trying to avoid having sugar all over the place. Make sure to have a super tight container ready for your caster sugar. If moisture can get inside your container, the sugar will melt and you'll end up wasting what you've just made. That was easy, wasn't it? Probably one of the reasons why you can't find it in the grocery store is that manufacturers know it's too easy to make. So the next time you need it, just make your own. Thing you'll need in making caster sugar Don't be surprised if the things you'll need for making caster sugar are already right in your kitchen. There's really nothing dramatic about this kind of sugar except for the name. Thanks for watching. Making it is even less dramatic Don't forget because to subscribe. all you need to